ninety-nine percent of your life is just thought and emotion. Thought and emotion is just a projection of life, not life, isn't it? When ninety-nine percent of the time you're only thinking about life, thought… emotion is also a kind of thought, a juicier thought, isn't it? Thought is dry, emotion is juicy, but still a thought, isn't it? The way you think is the way you feel, isn't it so? Yes? Isn't it so? If you think, oh, this is a wonderful person, you will have sweet emotions towards that person. Oh, this is a horrible person, you will have nasty emotions towards that person. You can't think this is a wonderful person and have nasty emotions. You can't think this is a horrible person and have sweet emotions, isn't it so? Because the way you think is the way you feel. Thought and emotion are not different. They are the same thing, they just thought one is dry, another is juicy. Because it's juicy, it has a drag time, so you think they're different. So you can be thinking like this, today you can be thinking this is a very wonderful person, tomorrow morning he does something that you don't like, suddenly you can think he's a horrible guy. Your thought immediately takes a right angle turn, but emotion cannot turn so quick. It takes a long turn, it takes a few days or a month, but after some time it'll come and join the thought, isn't it so? Yes? It has a drag time. Emotion will not turn immediately, so you think they are different, they are not different. They are same, it is just thought, one is dry, another is juicy. So your whole life is just thought and emotion. So it is very much like a dream, it is. You must know about Chang Su, who went about doing this. Chang Su was a great Zen master. In his monastery he had many monks and he is a recognized master. One day morning suddenly he is in great state of misery. So when they saw the master in misery, everybody got terrified. If the master is in misery, something really bad must have happened because always he is joyful and nice. So senior most monks slowly approached him and asked, Master, what is happening? Said, don't you disturb me, I am in a deep distress, get away. They said, if you are in distress, that should be death for us. Please tell us what is causing distress to you. Then Chang Su said, Oh, yesterday night in my dream I was a butterfly. The monk said, what is wrong being a butterfly? We have been many things, sometimes we have been pigs, we have been birds, we have been many things. That is no problem, butterfly is quite good. What's wrong with a butterfly? Said, you idiots, you don't understand, when I was a butterfly, I actually flew. I went and sat on the flower, I could feel the flower, I could smell the flower, I could taste the flower. It was all real. Now I don't know whether I am Chang Su dreaming to be a butterfly or am I a butterfly dreaming to be a Chang Su, which is true because both look equally vivid and real. When you live just on the thought process, this is how it is. He is using it as a method to shock his monks out of their stupor of spirituality because people are reading sutras and this and that. They think what they read and what they think is spirituality. So he is trying to knock their psychological structure out so that they become existential. If you are experiencing life, Life, not thought, not emotion, life, if you're experiencing life as such, such a question will not come. But when most of your life is just thought and emotion, it is very true, it is very much a dream, it's just another projection.